so many appointments and so much going on today that it's unreal. If we get to this evening when I'm going to bed and I feel like we've actually got a vlog, it'll be a bit of a miracle. We're just on our way into Leeds right now to a really important appointment, which is probably going to, it's, what time is it? Half nine. This will probably take us till about lunchtime. And then we're in the van because we've got it full of things we're donating to my sister, some bunk beds, my dressing table, which is actually still at the old house. We need to go pick that up and do another run. So last night, guys, when Chris was cleaning out our old, um, well, it's not old, we only had it one summer, our slide, our big water slide. If you haven't, you don't know which one I mean, watch yesterday's video. My little two nephews were sat looking at the slide like in awe like oh, wow this is so cool and Katrina was like oh my goodness like that's so cool and Chris just felt so bad so he literally gave it to them <laughs> he was literally like do you like this he obviously spoke to Katrina first and they were like yay so Chris gave Katrina our old water slide and they were so grateful and so happy and I'm actually so glad that it's gone to somewhere that will get a lot of use out of it and a lot of fun and I'm gonna have to go around there and see the boys and Leah play on that because I know it will make their summer this year we've got to take that up for them it wouldn't fit in the car or the van last night when we did a few trips so we need to take those up today I have a dentist appointment at two and then got the girls to get at three so I don't know if I'm going to be able to give you guys a good vlog today fingers crossed Martin parking in Leeds anytime after 9 a.m. is an absolute Nightmare. Not only is every single car park completely full, but they've taken away all the pay by mobile car parking spaces. Like on the street where you can park in spaces, they used to have the whole park by e mobile thing where you just pay for it on an app if you don't have any change. They've taken them all away so they don't have any of those around Leeds anymore. <sighs> As you can see, guys, I'm very, very out of breath right now. I've just to park like 10 miles away from our appointment and run so that I'm not late. I dropped Sarah off outside so she's there nice and early. But whew, Leeds is an absolute. Nightmare to park in. We've got an appointment now, so hopefully it won't be too long and we'll catch you afterwards. That's it, our meeting's done and it's still nice and early. In fact, it's 11 o'clock. I'm feeling in a really good mood now after that meeting. I'm feeling really Yeah, me too. I can't really tell you guys exactly what it was because it's, it's, it's like more of a personal, personal life. I feel really buffed after that. <laughs> yeah, it's a good morning this morning, although it is completely different to the last few days. Let's have a weather report because it wouldn't be the same if I was vlogging and I didn't show you the weather. Oh, it is freezing today, like oh. literally Baltic. Summer's gone, mate. It's done. We had summer two days ago. It's gone, standard in the UK. <laughs> You've got summer toes on today. I've got summer toes out and everything, and I'm frozen. <laughs> Oh dear me. Anyway, we did park about 10 miles away because I've talked to you about that a minute ago. So we're just taking the 10 mile walk back to the car. <laughs> we're going to go pick up something cool. We've got a really cool, like we found something yesterday that's going to be amazing I think I'm on a video. You t oh, you fool. <laughs> You're always giving away our secrets. They might not watch yesterday's vlog, so. Okay, yeah, if you don't watch yesterday's vlog, don't go and watch yesterday's vlog. No, you can, I'm only kidding. Go watch yesterday's vlog. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're gonna go pick up something cool and then we're going to Katrina's drop off a couple of bits of our hair. I am so hungry though, babe. I need some breakfast. It's 11 a.m. Oh, I know. Yeah, we we did rush around this morning though. I haven't eaten yet. So I might just have a cheeky stop somewhere and oh, grab some breakfast. Let's, let's all comment down below where we think Chris is going to stop for lunch. Comment down below right now we don't need if to you can guess. Below. All of our Twitters on there, all of our Twitter followers. I'm too late for a McDonald's <gasps> breakfast. So don't, don't be guessing that. Oh dear. That wasn't dangerous. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Some angry people in Leeds this morning. Come on, come on. You're all good. Nice and clear. You're Let's go. Too risky on route. That was not risky, that, that was, was fine. That was risky, mate. Plenty risky. You nearly sunbathed on the top of his car bonnet. No, I didn't. I was nowhere near the car, guys. I, please don't jump on me in the comments. There was no one. Nowhere near. Here's a bit of history for you guys. I haven't been in the light shopping centre in a long time in Leeds, but we used to come here every single Wednesday night for like a group Nando's over there. Haven't been to that Nando's in a long time, so we're just walking through the light. For the first time in forever, that looks pretty cool. We should take one home for Isabel since that, that looks really broke. cool. Isabel yeah. broke her phone, guys. Yeah, she's full on broke her she's, phone. She was running, it flew out of her pocket, and it's smashed, but none of the buttons work, because obviously it's touchscreen, and none of the keys work, so she's not happy bunny at the moment. Oh, no, no, no Instagrams from Isabel for, well, for now anyway, I don't really know what we're gonna do with it, but it's full on smashed. Well, we, can't, we can't just go and buy her another one, because that's not teaching a good, no, 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 good no. thing, is I it? I don't agree with that either, no way. But, yeah, it doesn't work at all. It's not just the screen is smashed, it's like the yeah. phone's frozen as well. It's really weird. I think we're on number two. I haven't been in this car park for so many years. A long, long time. Stop number two of the day. 
We're just at Katrina's house. We're just about to unload some big old bunk beds. I'm really excited because she's going to be really, really excited for this. Buzzing right now. We've just come to Tesco to pick something up, but that was going to be amazing for I'm not buzzing. a fun game. They were on offer yesterday. <laughs> I actually went online on Tesco's online to buy them. Got to the checkout and it said collect tomorrow. You know, we can just like click and collect, but hey, got to the checkout and it said collect tomorrow after 3 p.m. And I thought we're not going to be able to come up to Tesco's after three, so we'll just go into store and pick them up. Today was their changeover day, and they're not on sale anymore. And I'm so annoyed. It's so like they're both like they've gone up by five pounds. Yeah. But check these out, guys. These are so cool. Slime blast. Is. Like, these are like water guns but slime guns. If you look up the reviews online, they're, they're literally, the reviews are really good. It was like the number one toy in 2017, I think. Yeah, yeah. And they shoot, like you shoot the slime, but they shoot seven meters. They shoot slime. The girls are going to freak out on the So like, days. if I was stood here and you were stood right up there, it would reach you. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. We can have a family slime blast. Yeah, yeah, that's the goal but anyway. Actually, maybe not now because I'm, I can't justify the price for buying loads. <laughs> not, not now, the five pound each more. <laughs> So should we buy four? Or three um, or two or one? Um, should, we, should we get, I say three, like one each for the girls? One each for the girls and we yeah. can film them? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't you like to be involved? Yeah. We'll come back to you in a minute, guys. Guys, we just got to the till to pay. And they're scanning through at the sale price, even though today was the changeover day and the guys just said they'd just come off sale price this morning. They've obviously not updated the tills, so we're paying as quickly as we can. We're getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just dropped Sarah for a dentist appointment and I've just made the short trip down the road down to the letting agency that lets our old house. Because unfortunately, guys, it is time to take the keys and hand them back. And that's it. That's it. We're done. The old house is officially no more. Unfortunately, this morning has been so, so busy that we just haven't had chance to do any type of a, an empty house tour or anything like that. There is also our sofa still in the house and the table that I talked about yesterday that we can't get out because we have to remove the doors. Basically, we came up with the plan that the current owner is going to have his people bring it over to us. So he'd rather basically take the doors off himself and do all of that and then he's going to bring it over to us. So we're fine with that. That's all good. But it does mean that, unfortunately, because of that, we can't do an empty house tour. I'm super, super sad about that super sorry as well that we can't get that done for you guys but it just is what it is unfortunately we had we didn't anticipate having massive struggles yesterday getting everything out and sorted but you know it is what it is but i'm kind of sad right now because i'm just walking up the road towards the letting agency with all the keys about to give it back so that's it then guys no more old house that's it well that's it guys, end of an era. All the keys dropped off, all the paperwork signed up and done. I've just been into my friend Tom's sweet shop. I don't know if you remember, we came here a couple of days ago. Britain's sweet, just been in there. Had a little quick catch up with him on my way back to the car. Oh, I don't know how I feel, you know? It's kind of, it's just a weird feeling, I don't know. It's a weird feeling. It's kind of, we've had that house obviously like in the back of everything for months and months now because we were in contract and we couldn't get rid of it. And now that it's kind of, now that it's gone, it's kind of like a finale, like, you know what I'm saying? I'll stop waffling about the old house, but you know what I'm saying, guys? It's kind of the end of an era. No more of that view. Well, the memories will stay with us forever, but anyway, I'm waffling. I'll be quiet. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and pick up Sarah from the dentist. We have to go pick up the girls from school. And then it's Wednesday night. You know what happens on a Wednesday night, guys? Lots and lots of madness. And uh, I am about to head out and meet everybody for a very, very nice session tonight on the blades, hopefully, if the weather stays good, which it looks like it might do right now. So we just got back home from the dentist. What are you doing with a bag of ice? Oh, all together. So, what do you want and ice for? <laughs> Pretty's just, it just launched a piece of ice out by accident and Pretty's <laughs> loving it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, keep a dog happy when it's quite warm. Not that it's warm today, but it is in this house. Give him a bit of ice to play with. <laughs> she loves it. She wants to take it outside, open the door. Anyway, guys, we just got back home. I am, I am, I am. I am about to cook the girls some chicken. I, we went to the butcher, so I've got some chicken. And I'm going to cook it for us to have for our dinner at dancing this evening. Because you guys probably know, on a Wednesday, it's, it's a bit crazy in the Ingham household. The girls are at dancing from four until eight, and we never get time for dinner. But yeah, we're, we have dinner out on a Wednesday, and I don't want to buy it when we're out. So I'm making it and 
instead we're going to have some fresh chicken and also some side salad which is going to be delicious just been to the dentist all good happy chappy didn't have to have anything done so my mouth's not numb like it often is when i go to the dentist but what are you doing just set out the thumbnail for tonight's vlog. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I need to do that now, mate. <laughs> and I'm about to cook tea, and then the girls will be home from school. Hi guys, so I'm currently just at Lucy's house right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so warm. We've just been to the park, and we've been running around. I'm so warm right now. Um, so yeah, as I said, basically I go to the dance on a Wednesday with the girls and there's literally no point because I sit there for four hours not doing anything. So uh, Lucy's mum said, come round to our house so I have done, we've had some nice dinner and now we're going to do a really cool makeup challenge. Okay guys, so the way that this game, this challenge sorry, is going to work is we've got all of Lucy's amazing collection here. We're going to basically be in our own makeup and then you guys have got to judge. Who do you think is best? <laughs> Lucy's gonna be best because no, Lucy wears makeup more than me. I just like, I don't, I'm just sad and I'm just sat here like, can't do it. But anyway guys, let's get straight into the video. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we should do our eyebrows. Yeah. You actually. <laughs> I'm really bad at eyebrows. Like I'm yeah. so bad. I love it. Oh, that's my favourite bit. I know. I love it. I don't know why, but it's just so fun. Is that my fun cute little tree? The palm tree. Oh, baby, let me show some praise. So, guys, we just had a slight disaster. Lucy dropped a powder foundation. <laughs> Ooh, I'm, I'm liking my style today. I'm actually quite good today. No more. Fast forward a little bit and I've just left everybody to go to dancing. I've jumped in the car. It's a very, very gorgeous evening this evening and I'm about to meet everybody at Bingley Skate Park. So that's where I've just got to. I've just got to Bingley Myrtle Park and it's so, so pretty here. Look, look how pretty it is. There's like blossom everywhere. The sun's out. I mean, it just looks straight up absolutely gorgeous. It's such a nice evening tonight. I'm just about to meet everybody. We're going to a skate park that's here. That's actually really, really nice. A nice chilled place to start a session and get warmed up. So we're all meeting here and then we're going to go off around a few spots around Bradford tonight because Bradford has the best, the best street spots ever. And I'm going to take you all along with me. So get ready for some good, some good action tonight. So I've just hooked up with two of the boys, Todd and Harry. We're just having a little warm up session at this really, really cool park. It looks so weird on fisheye. It looks, it looks actually so good on fisheye right now. But it's really cool. It's got loads of little obstacles everywhere to like grind on and nothing too dangerous, nothing too high and scary. Perfect for a good old warm up and especially on an evening like tonight when it's just super sunny and gorgeous all everywhere. I love fish, I love the wide angle but I hate how it distorts your face, makes your face look strange but I love it otherwise. So we just got home from dance and I absolutely love summer when we can come home from dance and it's still nice and light yeah. outside. Yeah. It's so nice. What? What's this weird face, Apple? <laughs> I can go okay. bug-eyed. Oh. <laughs> That's so pretty, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh, guys. So, you know, I told you earlier when I went to the dentist and everything's a okay. I've actually got toothache tonight for like the first time in so long. And it's a tooth down here that I've had trouble with actually in the past. I had like great teeth until I got pregnant with Isabel. And then when I got pregnant with Isabel, because I had such severe sickness, I mean, I think this is what it was. It's not been told this is what it was. And I was literally vomiting multiple times a day for like seven months, maybe even longer. It just ruined my teeth. Obviously, when you're pregnant, like a lot of the calcium goes to the baby and so your teeth are more prone to becoming like decayed and things and one of my teeth kind of right at the back down here got like a decay and it needed filling and then I ended up needing a root canal and over like the last 10 years or so it's it keeps like flaring up with a like infection or abscess or something and it's not happened for like two years and I think that's what's starting like a, it feels like kind of fat here Oof, and it's so tender anyway guys we just came from dancing these girls did so good esme i do need you to go and jump in the shower and wash your hair okay. she's like okay esme's been doing musicals upstairs and she's very excited because she's got her own little part in the Mala. show don't you Mala. 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 is it for tap one minute uh, no, it's for modern for modern, she gets to come on stage with one of the males and then does he like pick you up and do like a spinny thing or yeah. something? Yeah. I wish it was a girl. Why? Boys. Isn't you a do? I, you a do. I no. only like Zach Efron and Daddy and Grandpa and Uncle Mike. Oh, you left out someone. And Dave. <laughs> anyway guys yeah she, Esme's definitely going through that stage where boys were cool once and now they're like too many of her friends take the mick out of her for boys you fancy so and so you go out with so and so no I don't yeah you do and then I just go ah, where do you go out with someone else yeah. you know what <laughs> will you go wash your hair sweetheart hair. good girl 10 years ago mummy was a 19 that's kind of not right boo because I'm 33 this year so, how old are they? Oh, because I could, counted one. <laughs> 31. So, what's 18? No, I'm 32 now, okay? If I'm 32, take away 10. 20. Yeah. 2. Ten. Oh, we, we, we're amazing. 23! 22, 10 years ago. Oh, you're 22! <laughs> I know, you're doing it too fast, trying to start your fingers. Anyway guys, shower for you, shower for you, and then it's bed. So we just arrived at one of my favourite spots ever, just as the sun's going down. It's so, so good here. I don't know if you guys have watched many of my videos on my main channel, but if you haven't, this is what has gone down here before. It doesn't quite look it on the camera, but this spot is deceptively high. Like the rail's like a lot higher than it actually looks in the camera. But I love it because it's not too high. It's just it's just high enough to be like dangerous, but it's not too high to be like overly dangerous. So it's such a nice spot and it slides so, so nice. But we're losing the sun now. The sun's probably properly gone down now. So we're gonna head around to another spot just around the corner from here where it's lit up and we can probably have about another hour or so before it gets properly, properly dark. Hello. Are you watching? Oh my gosh, what's this band called? Lost and Fast and Who? Lost Do you love it? Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. it's bedtime now, Bo. Uh, Am I sat on your foot? Yeah. Turn it off, it's time to say goodnight. Okay. Say goodnight to our iPhone, actually. Goodnight. Pardon? Goodnight. Goodnight. <laughs> So Izzy's just watching some Riverdale. I did say I won't disturb you. And she said, oh, can I not say goodnight to everyone? So, here you go. <laughs> Good night, guys. Quickly, uh, this is probably random. But I always put this mask on to sleep in. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. And then, <laughs> okay. And then I always wake up and it's always off. You probably knock it off whilst you're sleeping. I know I sleep proper like, I'm like this on the... It's about like stuffs her head right in a pillow. No, you don't sleep like that. I you do. sleep with your face in the pillow. No, I don't, I used to sleep like that. Oh, okay. I sleep like this, I sleep on my side, like, 
Anyway, guys, I'm giving you a tutorial of how I sleep, and you're probably like, okay then. Anyway, right, guys. <laughs> yeah, you'll leave you to watch your Riverdale. Thank you. Night night. Night, I love you. So, Isabel's just watching some Riverdale. The other two have just gone down to sleep, and I'm about to get into bed and end this vlog because my mouth is killing me. But just before I do, I have opened the card, but I just wanted to show you what I came into when I got home from dance because it's just so sweet, and I think it deserves a bit of credit. So, Isabel actually shouted at me from downstairs, which is why Isabel just said his dad home. And she said, have you been in your bedroom yet? And I was like, no, not yet, babe. I'm just like putting the girls' dance kits and things in the washing machine and sorting all that out. And she said, okay, um, well, I don't want to ruin anything, so I'll just leave it for you to see. And I was like, obviously, I ran upstairs. And look at this. So cute. So obviously, just before Chris left and went to his skating tonight, he obviously was just so sweet and went out and bought me some flowers and some chocolates and a card that says to my wonderful wife and then popped this video on the video, <laughs> popped this picture on the bed and I just thought it was so lovely. Like, look how cute these flowers are. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Oh, I love them so much. And I'm actually not feeling the best tonight, so it's just cheered me up so, so much. And yeah, I really appreciate that. So thanks, babe. I know I've already sent you a message saying thank you. But I'm going to end today's video because I need to take some painkillers, get into bed and just get like some rest. But thank you guys so much for watching. I've just a bit, Chris said something like hilarious to me today. He was in Tesco's and he said something like, why is there so much picnic stuff around? And I said, it's probably for the wedding this weekend. And he goes, why, who's getting married? And I was like, the royal wedding? Is that the royal wedding? Royal wedding? Who, why? Who's, whose wedding is it? Literally, where have you been the last six months? He had no idea. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And then as soon as I said it, he was like, oh, let's get the train to London on Friday night and go and watch. But I actually, I don't know. We've not got a plan in place yet, but I don't think we are going to do that because I don't know. I just, I feel like it'll be so busy. I don't know, but I've got a bit of a plan that we can do on Saturday. I won't let you know what that is, but this weekend's going to be a fun one for sure. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. Hope you've all enjoyed watching this video. We'll see you all again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night. Mm. Hi, fam. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the Ian family. And follow mine and my friends fan page on Instagram, ifam underscore fan underscore for underscore life. <laughs>